Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, that actually, there's something back there. When we last left off, I was in the Elden region. Ooh, hello. Ooh. I was in the Elden region, and I decided to start off the episode a bit differently from what we're used to. And if I look on the map here, I am near that shrine that I discovered episode before last, last episode, I'm not exactly sure. And I'm going to be taking it out real quick, and then going on to the Elden region. Because I figured, why can't we spread some of the, some of the explore, explorative, exploratory, exploratory love. And so that's what we're doing. Okay, let's explode that. Get all of the cool gems. Topaz, Amber... This was an unexpected but very lucrative payoff for me. Let's detonate that as well and get on our merry way. So we're heading over this way a little bit to the the west where we saw that shrine. There it is off in the distance. Now there's something down there as well which I have no clue what it is but I should probably proceed with caution that caution being my, my, my stealth actually that's a town what well that's neat what town is this Lur Lurilin village what cool we found a town I guess what is what is this place all about? And is there a store? Because it would be not great if there was a store. This little tropical village. We're not going to be exploring it this episode, no matter what. But I will at least see if they have any wares that they're selling, and then pick up the shrine and then leave. But this is definitely something that we should be investigating in the future. This is cool. They have a little raft over there. This is about the size of Kakariko Village, so... It's probably important somehow. They even have some quests. Well, would you look at this? I actually don't see any shops, so I guess I'll just climb up there, get the shrine, and ne then I will have the ability to teleport back here. There's the shrine. I climbed the wrong hill, but I should be able to fly completely over the chasm. Wow. So what is this? The Yarin Shrine. I'm guessing that this will be a f the final test of strength. We found a, a modest test of strength and a major, so I assume this is going to be the minor test, but we'll find out. A weighty decision, Yarin Shrine. So I guess I was wrong. Now, the main reason why I wanted to do this is we're going into a new area, right? And with that comes possibly a difficulty spike. And with my, what is that, seven hearts? I don't feel confident anymore that I, I can survive attacks. And this happens to be the last, uh, the last orb that I need before I can get Eight hearts total? Let's see, uh, I have a Phrenic Bow, right? Yeah, I have a Phrenic Bow. Also, in between episodes, I bought a ton of arrows. So I now have 50. I also have a bunch more ice arrows, since those really work well with the territory. What are you doing? You're easy. Wow, that was, that was kind of sad. Let's grab these. I'm not going to grab the guardian weapon because those things are pretty weak. Uh, there's a chest right out in the open, which makes me... That makes me think that this is a, almost a... It's supposed to be an earlier... Shrine. Let's see, can I drop anything? No, everything I have is pretty good. I guess I'll just leave that for now. Uh, I'm guessing I need that... I, I'm guessing I need that box. That would, that would help. 
greatly. So I'll go grab the box and place it on the button. Opening the puzzle. This is a very simple shrine. I like it. I mean, I, I like most of the shrines, but some of them have gotten so complicated recently that they don't really... They don't feel like dungeons, they just feel like chores, I guess. So, I actually probably need to take that box with me the entire time. So, since it's the only... It's the only thing they've given us to weight these down, other than the chest? I don't know, who knows, I, I may need to grab that chest over the, back there. So first, let's go grab this... We'll go grab this new chest. Push that over there. Um. Okay. So does this weigh this down? No. Does this weigh this one down? It does. This is <laughs> this is getting kind of odd. Uh. What? What? I don't quite understand. So I'll do that. I'll get onto this. Drop it on there. This, for some reason, is not making sense to me, even though I feel like it's fairly simple. But I'm not sure which which one outweighs which. So this does that. I'll jump over to that thing. And this back left one is the counterweight to this. Okay, I, I guess that made sense at the end, but I was... I was dirtling around there for a couple a couple minutes. All right, we got our our thing. So let's head on over to that town that we found last episode, which is the Southern Mine. So we're going to head on over there. Off screen, I'm going to be getting my eighth heart container and I'll see you over there with eight heart eight hearts. Back in the mining village, I need to find that one guy- there he is. At the end of last episode, this guy told us that he wanted fireproof lizards, and if we managed to catch ten of them, he would give us a piece of fire-resistant armor. So... Let's see what that fire-resistant armor is. Thanks, buddy. Here, take this. Flame Breaker Armor. Armor crafted by Gorons f by hi uh, for Hylians curious enough to visit Goron City. It's made from fire-resistant rocks to protect the wearer. Hmm, something the matter, buddy? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't for Lendon. It's too expensive for that. You can buy your own in Goron City. To get to Goron City, head north from here. It's the fifth stop up the trail. I'm sure you'd agree, buddy, that it's always handy to have some spare souvenirs on hand. So if you come across any more fireproof lizards, I'll buy them for you at 20 rupees for three. If I get my hands on some fireproof lizards and some monster parts, I can make some fireproof elixirs to boot. Well, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and equip that new piece of gear. It... Oh, man. We look like a boss. And how's, how's that change my temperature? It doesn't really change my temperature. But I assume once we get the helmet, then we will be able to weather this without the aid of an elixir. Speaking of elixirs, off screen, this is kind of weird. Off screen, I purchased two more elixirs beyond what I already had. I also spent a lot of money on additional arrows, which you can't see because I don't have any fireproof bows, but I do have, so just take my word for it. And I also bought a bunch of food over in uh, Kakariko Village. Oh, and I also have in my 8th heart, which is pretty nice. Let's see, what is over there? It's a dude. Is there any chest? If there's a chest, I'll just run up and grab it and leave. There it is. Okay, so let's use this updraft. To sail on over there. Rob them of their valuables. There are three chests. Well, that's nice. Here's one. It's a topaz. Here's two, it's a knight's shield, which my inventory's full here. Let's throw away something bad, shall we? What is bad here? Soldier shield, soldier shield, goodbye. So we get a, a knight's shield, and we also get, I'm guessing, some sort of weapon. 
another cobble crusher, which I don't actually want. I'll be honest. I, Looking at my weapons here, I don't want a cobble crusher. It's not that good. So let's... I don't need to fly over there. There's some things for me to blow up, but otherwise nothing especially important. So let's just fly back. I don't need to tangle with these guys. They can... They can exist as long as they don't have any treasure. Because their treasure belongs to me. Okay, so fifth stop up the path, huh? I mean... Undoubtedly, we can just follow this to our destination, but... I should keep that in mind. Now, does that count as a stop, or... Is it very, very clearly labeled? I'm not sure. So we're following up the path. Oh! That's what they mean. These dots. So that's two... They might be one as well because we saw one in the village. Whoa. Okay, uh, fire. Fire from the sky. We are now officially playing Ocarina of Time. Good. That's something to watch out for. So whenever the, the, sky, the sky rains fire, we need to hide. Because I doubt I can guard against that very well. And that would probably hurt. See, there's a shrine nearby. Oh, look, it's a statue of a Goron. Well, that's, that's neat. And actually, there's probably a shrine inside the, the mouth of the Goron. So I'm guessing that's the Divine Beast, maybe? Oh. Well, there's the Divine Beast. Climbing the mountain itself. Now, what is it doing? Is it causing it to erupt? Or is it just walking around it menacingly? It doesn't sound happy. That's, that's the one thing I'm gathering from this. <laughs> it wishes that the DLC for Zelda was free! Speaking of the DLC for Zelda, also that, this shrine has to be inside the Goron's mouth. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go inside the Goron's mouth, don't worry. But speaking of DLC, they actually announced uh, a bit more DLC for Breath of the Wild at E3. In fact, this E3 was pretty good, I'll have to say. There were, now, there were solid announcements from every single, Let's see, can I climb this? I may have to equip. I'm probably going to have to equip my other climbing gear. There were solid announcements from all of the game companies. Metroid Prime 4 was announced. This is... It was just such a solid E3. In fact, uh, can, I don't think I can climb that. I'll climb around the arm, I guess? But uh, in the comments below, tell me stuff that you were most excited for. I mean, probably the thing I, I was least impressed by. It sounds... I don't know, maybe I'm the only one, but... The the new Mario game looks kind of off, you know? I I don't really know how, how to describe it beyond that. But that was the one thing I had a problem with with E3. Was that... Oh. Was that the Mario Odyssey just looked kind of weird. Like, it wasn't Mario, you know? So, let's see. Can I get inside the mouth here? Dollars to dozens, there's a shrine inside. Whoa. What is... Is there a, a Korok in here? Yeah, there's a Korok. But this is not the shrine. Huh. I wonder where the shrine is. It's somewhere around here. Oh, wait, there it is. I see it. Oh, I'm on fire. Uh, did my potion? Oh, my potion just ran out. Here, actually, this is a good test. If I equip this, I'm no longer on fire. Cool, so I, I don't... <laughs> okay. I no longer need the potions. That's, that's cool. But my first order of business, besides talking to... The, oh, there it is. Is to find a... A, uh, helmet. Man, I'm really good at this. At finding what I, exactly what I need. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Out late, I see. 
Lucky for you, ripped and shredded is open for business on day and and night. I want to buy. Of course you do. If you gear up here, you you'll be set to stay cool at places even hotter than than this place. With what you're wearing right now, you should really give up on going anywhere hotter than you know the store. Places that are hot are forbidden to anyone who isn't a Goron. Anywho, that's it. So we got. Oh wow. So we got the the chest piece for free. So we saved 600 rupees, and we need. Ugh. Oh. Well, that costs a lot of money. I can afford... Let's see. Can I sell... Do I have enough to... To sell to get... 2,700 rupees? Let's let's find out. Let's order my inventory. We'll sell off these. Which is 240 rupees. Which is nowhere near enough, by the way. These cost 180 rupees. Nowhere near enough. I cost 70. Ah. We're actually kind of close. Here. Here, let's sell all of these. Ooh. Sell all of these. I can get more luminous stones. Ah. And now we have enough. Well, that that was easy. Let's sell 20 of these. Cool. Well, I can buy this straight up. Maybe that's not a good idea, but it's it's what I want to do. And so I'm going to buy these. Without asking in the comments if it's a good idea, I'm just going to buy them straight out. <laughs> yeah, I got... I spent a lot of money. Now I'm broke. Oh, for a second, I, I, I thought I made a mistake and I already had boots. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So let's equip that and equip that. Neat. We are... We are looking. We are looking the part. So, what else is here? There's an old dude. There's something in there which we should check out. In fact, this looks off the beaten path. Is this just a window? Well, I can crawl. I can crawl in here. Oh, it's just a window. Okay. Well, I'm in here now. That's cool. Who are you? Is this where I sleep? You must be so tired, buddy. Running around at this hour. A regular bed will cost you money, and if you want a massage, then that'll also cost money. Don't overwork yourself. Okay, so this is where I sleep. Neat. Is that a Goron? Or not a Goron, a. Uh, is that a Gerudo? Hey! Hey, yo, girl, it's a Gerudo. Need to gather. Zzz. And I can't wake her. Okay. So let's see, what else does this town have to offer? I can't believe we made it in two episodes. It seems like when we went to Zora's Domain, it took like five episodes to get there. A traveler, perfect. Why don't you stay here and, you know, sleep? Uh, no, I'm good. Don't forget to rest and stuff. Okay, we went in there, I think? No, we did not. It's a store. With rock salt, fire arrows, which I don't need, ice arrows, which I don't need, that, which I don't need, and sugar cane. I'll buy the sugar cane. I haven't had sugar cane before. I could maybe make some sweets or something. Let's see, where else are we headed? Here. There's a dot. You s you actually seem pretty important. You're sitting right here next to this spot. Drat! That blasted Rutania! With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping up around on the mountain? They say that 100 years ago, it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we used a cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back, er. Now, yeah, Hmm, for just some back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm, you know, from the fire department. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that you had a fire. <laughs> I see. You came all this way to put out the fire. Well, good luck to you, buddy. I like you already. Well, my name's Bluto. 
I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or make a silenced child cry, either way. Yes, it's none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted you, Nobo. When will he return? Who's a Nobo? And is he on fire? Because I kind of need to put that out with my spear. You know, Bow is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He wanted to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Mm. Slacker. I laid off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Runobo, would you let him know that I'm looking for him? Oh. Arrgh! Divine Beast Varudania. Well, we have a mission. Now, before I end off the episode, because I think we're around that time, I'm not sure. I I'm pretty sure we're around that. Oh, that's as high as that goes, isn't it? Let's find let's find that shrine and and clear that real quick, because that seems important. I'm pretty sure we're not at time yet, but if we are, I'm I'm sorry. What on earth is this? A toilet, or I guess it's not a toilet. So where was that shrine? Wasn't there somewhere? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it just it just blends in really well because it's on fire like everything else. Do I still burn from this? I still do. There's a. Oh, I thought th I thought there was a baby Goron in there. Like they uh, they were just working and he dropped dead. And well, stupid kids dropping dead like flies. Here, let's clear out the shrine for the end of the episode and then find out what to do next time. Swinging Flames, Shea Mosa Shrine. Swinging Flames, eh? Hmm, is there any way I can light that on fire without using fire arrows? Or do I actually need fire arrows? Okay. This is... This is weird. This is one of the ones that looks like they... Wait, can I... Wait a minute. Can I stasis this? Ooh! I can! That is cool! That's really neat! Okay, let's take out our bow. Just a normal traveler's bow. And light everything on fire. Ow! I'm on fire. I didn't mean me. I did not mean me. Okay, let's grab this chest. Get some goodies. A, a stone smasher! Well, that seems a lot better here. That seems a lot better than this old thing. Actually, which is better? This? Is this better than this? It doesn't look like it. And it's not better than anything else I have. These are getting a little bit old, but they're also... They also have elemental strength. So I guess I should be using up my flame blade soon. But I'll take the, the stone crusher. That looks cool. Co neat. And this thing, I think, is just strictly better. Okay, there was a fire that I needed to use. So, as for what we're doing next episode, besides... That was... I guess I needed that barrel to hold down the switch, but I did it anyway, so now I'm technically stuck. That's not good. That's weird. But, um, one thing that I kind of liked doing at the beginning of this episode is exploring... Oh, that was bad. Is exploring a new place. Oh. He's done. You are defenseless. Are you gonna... Oh, it hurt, it, they hurt you. Okay. But they're not that strong. They're, in fact... They thought they were hot, when in fact you are not. Ha ha ha. But yeah, I kind of like that formula of doing something com completely unrelated to the main objective and then going back and working on the main objective. That that was kind of nice. And episodes are long, but that doesn't mean that they have to be spent working on the same thing, you know? These don't have to necessarily be linear episodes. Where am I headed here? There's a locked door and a switch over there. What does this do? What it... Oh, so we can use the fire 
to light that and free that metal ball, which is going where? Oh, it's over there. Oh, we're, we're setting it. We're making like a Rube Goldberg machine. Oh, this is neat. So I'll hit this. It'll open that. It'll roll down. And spin that thing. That's cool. I like that. They should do that more often. A very easy chest to grab. Which contains... A small key, which will take us down below. But first, let's go up this way. Because I'm not sure... Is there anything up here? No, there's not. Oh, hello! Almost missed you. Little chesty chest. Little chests everywhere. With ice ice arrows, that's nice. I can do with some ice arrows. So, that locked door was down there? Or was it here? I think it was down this way. There it is! So is this another part of the puzzle, or are we just done? It looks like it's another part of the puzzle. There's a button down there. So this drops... those. Which we can use... somehow? Oh, wait, wait, I got it, I got it. Freeze this. And... No, that doesn't work. What does this do then? Okay, so that opens that. We can maybe use this to... Maybe? No. I am i don't want to cheat because I know they give us a method to solving these. But I'm not seeing it at the moment. So that lowers that. And... That does that. What is down here? Have we been down there? Oh, that's the beginning. That's the beginning of the... The, th the thing. So... Let's try that again. Hit this. And... Huh. Well, I'm not seeing how we're supposed to do this, so... I guess the easy solution is to... Actually, no, I... I want to see what's in... I want to see what's in that, uh... That barrel. So let's... Knock this down. Oh, that, that doesn't break. Okay, so I, I guess... There's no good way to complete that. I'm not, I'm not sure what they wanted me to do there, but I made it to the end, and that is going to be the end for the episode. End of the episode. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time when we not only talk to the people of Goron City a little bit more, but also proceed up the mountain path to find that guy's brother or something. The guy who has his pain medication. Because Link is the Hy Hylian errand boy. Alright, see you guys next time. Here. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, feel free to flame me on that one. Uh, that was stupid. I, uh, for some reason, I thought I was going to be really cool. Yeah, this is going to be... Well, actually, what am I doing? This is going to be cake. In fact, it's going to be such cake that I don't even need my ice spear. Okay, I fell off of him.